welcome back to my YouTube channel. So with Christmas just a couple of days around the corner, I thought I would make this video of um, cheap things and easy things and DIY things that you can make for your family and friends. Now, I won't be sharing all of the ideas that I've had for Christmas gifts because this video would just be way too long. But if you would like more inspiration, head over to Pinterest because I find that Pinterest is really great for finding cute DIY gift ideas. I really hope that this video helps you if you're still stuck on what to buy for your friends and family. I've noticed as I've been out and about this week, people saying to me, I don't know what I'm going to buy for my family for Christmas. So I'm making this video just in case you're stuck on what to buy for your friends and family. Here are some ideas. For the first one, you're going to need some stackable boxes. So I got mine from the $2 shop. So they were $2 a box, $2 no matter what size. So these are the boxes that I used. Now we're also going to need a Stanley knife to cut down the sides of the boxes. If you're under the age of 18, please make sure that you have a parent or guardian supervising you while you do this, or even better, get a parent or guardian to do this step for you. We are also going to need a glue stick. And the last thing that we're going to need to get is some photos. I accidentally chopped some of the heads off in my photo side to reprint some of them. Um, so yeah, just make sure that you're aware of that when you are printing out your photos. So what we're going to need to do is cut down the four corners of the box like so. Cut the photos up. Make sure you put the smaller photos in the smaller box have lots of photos as you can see I did not have enough so I had to print out some more photos for the photo boxes. Once I'd finished putting the photos in there I put some tokens in each layer and some chocolates in the littlest box. Once you've stacked all of the boxes together it is finished and ready to wrap and put underneath your Christmas tree. The next idea is hot chocolate in a jar. Now you can put it in a jar or a clear ball ball. So I just put my mini marshmallows and drinking chocolate into a jar and this step isn't really necessary but I just added some stickers to my jar and that is it. So now the gift is ready to be wrapped and put underneath the Christmas tree. Now for the last gift idea, you will need to get an empty notebook. You will also need some photos for this one too. The next step is just put the photos in randomly every five, six, ten pages, whatever you'd like to do. It also depends on how big your book is. Don't make the same mistake as me and put too many photos in though. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope this gave you some inspiration on some gifts for your family. As you would have seen, a lot of these gifts don't require a lot of things. So even some of these gifts, you don't even have to go out. You might have something laying around your house that you could make the gift up for. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what gift ideas I had for you guys. And most importantly, I hope you guys enjoy wrapping up all your presents. Let me know in the comments below if you're planning on making any of the gifts that you've seen in this video. Don't forget to go and enter my Reborn giveaway. I'll put the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.